Hello there guys, welcome back to From the Ash. Great to have you here for another video. Keeping it festive today, I'm still in central London. I'm here for the whole week, but I'm gonna be doing a video that's a little festive today because it is Christmas time. What do we do at Christmas? We put our favorite Christmas film on. One of my favorites, Love Actually, and it was shot right here in London. So what I'm gonna to do today, I've got free afternoon. I'm gonna have a wander around and I'm gonna see how many Love Actually filming locations I can find in the city of London. I think there's quite a few. Let's see how many I can get in before the sun goes down. on my Love Actually tour. Right behind me here is Peter and Juliet's house. It is in the Notting Hill area of London, St. Luke's Mews. Of course, people do live here. This is literally residence for people. So when you come here, be respectful. Come and have a look, take your photos. I'm sure that's not a problem. Just make sure you're respectful of the area as well, because this is where people live. But amazing to see this one, one of the most famous Love Actually locations. This is where, just in front of that door right there, is where he holds up the signs, say it's carol singers, etc., and so on. Just up there, Kieran Knightley runs after uh, Mark's character, gives him a little kiss. He says, enough now. Boris Johnson did do a rip off of this. Certainly not as good as the original anyway, uh, but this is it. Peter and Juliet's house, St. Luke's Muse in London. It's about here where I'm stood, guys, is where Mark walks to before Kira Knightley's character runs out of here, runs up the middle after him, gives him a little kiss and he moves on with his life. And literally a five minute walk from that location was this location, which I kind of happened upon. I knew it was in this area somewhere, but I spotted it, Googled it, and it was what I thought it was. This is Colin's friend's apartment. He comes here after he's rented out his flat to pay for his ticket to America. It's actually just a Portuguese patisserie called Lisboa. And it's that it's called that in the movie as well. It's actually got the same, uh, you know, owners and company that are still in there today. So this one's quite easy to find. A bit of a more obscure location. It's only on screen for a few seconds, but that's two Love Actually locations done already. Let's move on to another one. that one that was of course Selfridges where Bad Harry I think that's his name that's what he writes in his Christmas card anyway goes and he buys a necklace while shopping with his wife for his bit on the side bit weird why would you do that when your wife is literally in the shop with you but he did and he was served by Rowan Atkinson in that famous scene where he infamously asked to have the necklace gift wrapped which he quickly regretted. I couldn't film a lot in there, by the way, guys, because it is a jewellery section of a big shop in London. <laughs> so uh, the guy said I could get one or two shots, but then I'd have to not film anymore. So that's what I did. It looks pretty similar in the shop still to what it did back then. I think, with the uh, from memory, there's all that wooden panelling in the shop in Love Actually, and it's still there now. But yeah, worth having a look at. Anyway, I'm gonna move on. There's another location just around the corner and I know that you're gonna recognize this one. I hope I can get inside because it is the inside that we know from the movie, but don't know until I get there. So let's go and have a look. Gotta go down what are the steepest street steps I've ever seen. It's like a ladder. To get to where I need to go for the next location, I had to walk through Grosvenor Square, which is this square here. And it's full of these white flowers. I think it's a cancer charity that has created this incredible display. Really amazing. So if you're passing through this area on your way to your next location, be sure to check this out. Incredible and for a good cause. Anyway, on to the next location.
one but the door was open it is open to so have a look around obviously we've got to be very quiet because people do come in here for times of prayer but this is Grosvenor Chapel just off Oxford Street and very close to the last location we looked at this is of course the site of Peter and Juliet's wedding in Love Actually and also the site for one of the first flash mobs that I can remember when the uh, all you need is love kicks in people playing trumpet guitar etc in fact the guy playing guitar stood right here in this pulpit. Keira Knightley's character, Juliet, walks down the aisle here to Peter and his best man who has stood right at the front here. As you can see, it looks pretty much the same as it did back then. Very little has changed. A beautiful space. Now, I'm not gonna film for very long in here because I wanna leave this as it should be, which is as a space of prayer and reflection, but I just wanted to show it to you because it is, of course, a very famous Love Actually location. This is Grosvenor Chapel in central London. Come and check it out and uh, why not spend a bit of time here reflecting yourself. It is a beautiful space, really, really nice, nicely kept and it looks exactly the same as it did in the movie. So definitely one to tick off your list. There we go guys, that was a pretty good one, wasn't it? Peter and Juliet's wedding spot, beautiful chapel. Heading towards Bond Street, there's a lot of fancy cars on this road. I've seen a Lamborghini, Ferrari, a Bentley. I'm going on the tube. <laughs> Now guys, I won't lie, I'm losing the light a little bit here. Day has gotten away from me, but I am just around the corner from two more locations from Love Actually, so I'm gonna try and cram those in before I lose the light completely. I'm pretty sure it's this door here, but it could be that one over there. It's one of these anyway, where Mark apparently lives. It's basically a warehouse, as you can see. So it's not really someone's home, but yeah, I think it's one of these two doors that he storms out of he's actually visited by Juliet of course he's visited by Juliet through one of these doors anyway because she wants the wedding video he's got it but it's certainly not the wedding video that she was expecting because it's only clips of her so she stays in there and he goes off and storms off this way and uh, surprises some shoppers with a sort of shouty outburst so I'm going to show you that now that's just up here but this is the area anyway right next to the Oxo Tower really really close to the Oxo Tower in fact I think the Oxo Tower might be in this building I think Mark stops about here where I am and he sort of you know, goes like that to go back and then decides not to and then he goes right I'm off and he zips his coat and he storms off this way. I think it's about here where he sort of storms up the apartment slash studios down there, storms up this ramp here and stops about there and sort of has an outburst and makes somebody jump. But this is all like a shopping centre here. There's loads of shops here and cafes and stuff. In fact, you know what? There's nobody about. I'm going to have to do a reenactment. It's got to be done. Just imagine that Dido has just kicked in. I've just stormed off. I'm going to go over there and do a reenactment. I'll do it flawlessly. Just you watch. See? Flawlessly. There we go, I was right. The Oxford Tower's right there. And where Mark is said to live slash have his studio is just down here. So technically, Mark lives in the Oxo Tower. Which is a tiny bit unrealistic, I'll give you that. But it's a film, so we'll, we'll let him off for that one. Anyway, just behind me here is the River Thames. And alongside the River Thames is some benches. You will recognise the bench that is on screen right now. Sadly, I can't go and sit in it because, as you can see, there is somebody in it right now. But this bench is where Daniel, played by Liam Neeson, gets to have a heart-to-heart -heart with his son Sam about falling in love and that happens just over here it's a very very famous love actually location quite a few people over there at the moment so I'm vlogging a little bit further back from the river but as you can see uh, the bench is there it's the second one in so it's the one sort of in the middle if you like that's the one that you want to go over to and the area that we're in right now is called Gabriel's Wharf It's right on the banks of the River Thames in the sort of South Bank area not for, far from Waterloo Station if you're coming in on the train anyway let's go and have a closer look Look at the view at the bench let's go and check it out it's our final location in this video it's a bit dark guys but
but you can still see the three benches along here. I think the one that they use in the movie is this one right here with the lady sat on it, so I can't go and sit on it for you. But look at that view beyond it. Unbelievable. London at night, beautiful. Guys, I'm just editing the video together now, and I realised I forgot to film an ending when I was in London. So instead, you've got me here in front of my Christmas tree at home, with a hoodie on, trying to get some editing done. <laughs> this is generally what my editing attire looks like, you know, just comfy wear. But anyway, I'm getting the editing done, and you're watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Keeping it festive. I really enjoyed seeing all those locations from one of my favourite Christmas films of all time, Love Actually. So hopefully you enjoyed it too. Like I say, give it a thumbs up if you did. And do subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. Thanks so much for being here, guys. I'll see you soon for another video. Take care. Bye-bye.